Hello and welcome to my first ever webinar. This has been a journey to say the least. It has been a bit rough to get everything put together because I just decided on a whim to put this together last night to help you conquer the local market. And in today's presentation, we're going to be talking about the three biggest mistakes that small business make and how you can overcome them. So with that, let's just go ahead and get on with the show. All right, let's just get on with the show. So a bit of housekeeping, put all distractions away. Got a lot of information for you to take in a short period of time and you don't want to miss it. So pay close attention. Do not take any notes. You will have the opportunity to get this entire presentation along with my speaker notes at the end of the presentation. And feel free to ask questions. If you're here live, there will be a link after the presentation for you to ask any questions. If you're on the replay, then you can just leave the questions in the comments or the Q&A because this will be posted on Spotify and Facebook and probably do YouTube. So yeah, I will do my best to cover them all or I will create additional follow-up content. So make sure you are following me on all the social channels at BKXX Enterprises. Who am I? I'm a husband and father of two. I'm obsessed with sales and the psychology of marketing. I have a degree in biochemistry. Yes, that, I know that seems quite strange that I have a degree in biochemistry, but it gives me an edge over your traditional consultant or marketer because I take a very scientific approach to anything that I do. You know, there's always a strict process to complete any project. The beginning, middle, and end, you have your hypotheses, you test your hypotheses, you come with your conclusions, and then therefore you have your results. So that is the method that I take in all of my consultations. And what brought me to you today <clears throat> was a single late night infomercial that put me on this 12 year journey to this point in time. And that infomercial talked about, I believe it was online marketing at the time. It was back in 2008, 2009. So before everything has blown up on the internet, there were info products on how to build an online business way, way back in the day. It was a much harder back in the day because you didn't have all the tech and the software, but people were still doing it. And the message that they had was, did I want to exchange time for money or did I want to exchange service and knowledge for money on a grander scale? There's only so many hours a day you can punch time clock, right? So did I want to set up a business that will allow me to have that passive recurring income that helps generate the lifestyle that I want to live while helping people achieve their goals? So if you've been looking for a simple, proven, and tested step-by-step -step method for generating more leads for your small business, then again, I need you to pay attention to every word in this entire presentation. Now, I want you to stop for a moment and think about all the advertising you've seen over the past week. How many of those actual ads can you name off? Research estimates that over the past seven days, you've been exposed to as many as 117,000 ads based on national average. So out of those 117,000 ads, how many can you name? If you're fairly attentive, you may be able to come up with three or four specific ads, but I'll bet that's because you probably see those ads over and over in week in, week out. Let's face the facts. Repetition works 15% or less. You know, that's Geico, right? When you see any advertisement multiple times every day, you're bound to eventually begin to recall the ad. But now answer this question. What few ads do you remember? And how many of their products or services have you bought? I mean, you know, so simple, caveman can do it. Are you insured with Geico? Probably not. I'll admit that I personally loved the E-Trade Baby commercials back in the day. I thought they were absolutely hilarious. And if you seen them, you probably thought the same thing too. And when I heard their ads come on, I did stop whatever I was doing and go see and see what the new antics the baby was getting into. But I don't have an E-Trade account and I probably don't ever plan on getting one. And why would I? What benefits do they offer me as a buyer of online trading services that any of the hundreds of other stock trading services offer? You're starting to see my point here. 
Does a smart Alec wisecracking baby have any relevance to online stock trading whatsoever? No. So why does E-Trade continue to make these commercials? Believe it or not, there is a reason. And by the end of this short presentation, you'll fully understand what that reason is. Businesses today are led to believe that they have to do crazy outlandish advertising to be successful. And they create some sort of attention-grabbing monstrosity and believe they will generate leads at will. Nothing. I mean, nothing can be further from the truth. And that's just one area of marketing. What about generating cash flow? Every small business needs to generate fast cash flow. So how do you do that as a small business owner? What about generating profits? Generating more cash flow is great, but not if you don't get to put any of it in your pocket. And at the end of the day, it just stinks, right? You're doing all this work, you're not getting any money, and the business is just there. It's stagnant, it's no growth. How would you like the answers to all of these problems? How would you like it if I could cut through all the hype, eliminate the BS, and give you the proven step-by-step -step roadmap for making your phone ring, hurting your prospects to your website, and marketing your business successfully? Is that something that you would want in your business? Go ahead and drop a one in the comments if that's what you want. I'm going to reveal to you the three biggest lead generation mistakes small business owners make and how to overcome them all. Mistake number one, they fail to get professional help. Mistake number two, they don't know the fundamentals required to successfully market their business and attract as many new clients as their business can handle. And mistake number three, they have no idea how to use their marketing and generate immediate cash flow. Let's explore these three in depth and show you how you can easily and systematically overcome them all. So mistake number one, small business owners fail to get professional help. Can you name for me just one professional athlete who does not have a coach? There aren't any. Tiger Woods has nine coaches guiding him in everything from his golf game to his financial investments. But do small business owners really need professional help? You are the experts in your industry, right? Remember the TV ads we previously discussed? Those ads are created by professionals. Unfortunately, those professionals have no clue what they're doing. Everything they're doing in marketing and advertising today is wrong. And let me prove it to you right now. If you currently use any form of marketing, such as a print ad, brochure, postcard, flyer, company website, take it out and look at it carefully. And if you don't, stop for one second, take out a sheet of paper and sketch out what you think would make an effective ad for your business. It doesn't have to be anything formal or fancy. Just create a basic outline of the ad where you could locate various elements on the page. Do this right now. All right, I'll give you a couple minutes. So let's cue the music. Great. Now that you have your ad or mock of your ad sitting right in front of you, let me provide you with a little known secret that produce more leads than your business can handle. 99% of all marketing professionals don't know lead generation secrets that I'm about to re reveal to you. This information is so powerful and compelling. It will position you in the top 1% of all lead generation professionals today. This example will show you why every small business owner should acquire the step-by-step -step roadmap as they start to generate leads for their business. And here's what true professionals will know. It's called the conversion equation, and it will help you implement the proper things needed to get the unlimited leads for your business. The conversion equation will make sure you never have to compete on price. Instead, you'll start selling your product or service for what it is really worth. You'll drive in more leads and increase your advertising response by 10 to more than 100 times. You will convert a higher percentage of those leads and dramatically increase the number of sales. You'll get a bigger bang for your marketing buck. And the bottom line is you will literally create a profit faucet that you'll, ne that you'll never have to shut 
off and have total control over. So what marketing is supposed to do? Its first job is to capture the attention of your target market. Second, it must give the prospect hope that reading or listening to your marketing will give them enough information to help them make the best decision possible when buying whatever you sell. In other words, train and teach them how to recognize the true value of your product or service and conclude that you and you alone offer the best value versus your competition. Marketing's third job is to lower the risk of taking the next step in the buying process. And if necessary, continue to educate your prospect regarding the value of your offer. Marketing that accomplishes these three objectives will result in your prospects and customers coming to one single conclusion. They would have to be an absolute fool to do business with anyone else but you, regardless of price. It's estimated that as many as 96% of small businesses fail within their first five years. The main reason for this tremendously high failure rate has to do with the lack of expertise when it comes to generating leads and making the phone ring. Most small businesses don't know anything about these things we just discussed that marketing is supposed to do, but there's also an additional problem to consider. Most businesses use a tactical marketing approach instead of a strategic one. Running an ad in a newspaper, sending out an email or direct mail letter, airing a radio or TV ad on a local media station are all examples of tactical marketing. Now, don't get me wrong. The newspaper, radio, or direct mail can be successful marketing channels if your marketing message is powerful and compelling. But that's the problem. The message is the strategic side of the marketing, and yet it's the most neglected. The distinction between strategic and tactical marketing is huge, and you need to be accurately aware of any time you start talking about generating more leads. Many companies mistakenly assume that when you talk about lead generation, you're automatically thinking about tactical lead generation, placing ads, sending out mailers, joining networking groups, or you're attending trade shows, or you're just implementing a prospect follow-up system and so on. Those are all tactics and ones you should be implementing, but you fail to realize the strategic side of the coin. What you say in your marketing and how you say it is almost always more important than the marketing medium where you say it. If you fail to make this distinction, then you risk becoming jaded towards certain forms of marketing and advertising that should be a part of your tactical plan. But you eliminate them from consideration because they haven't worked for you in the past. When lead generation results are less than optimal, small business owners tend to always blame the marketing medium or the advertiser. Like the newspaper ad that ran in last Sunday's post or the postcards they sent out. They blame the tactical part of the plan without any regard for how good or how bad the strategic messaging in that marketing plan was. People often say things like, we tried online sales funnels and it doesn't work for our kind of business, or we sent out 50,000 pieces of direct mail and only generated three orders. It just doesn't work. Well, just because it didn't work doesn't mean that it won't work. Most business owners don't have the evaluation skills or know how to judge whether poor marketing results from poor strategy or poor tactical execution. This is where the step-by-step -step roadmap can generate more leads than your business can handle. For example, most small businesses rely heavily on platitudes in their marketing and they see things like we have the lowest prices, we're family or veteran owned and operated, the best value, the best service, we offer convenient hours. Look at your own marketing that I asked you about earlier. How many platitudes did you use in your own marketing? Drop them in the comments. I want to know. But it's not your fault, though. Don't beat yourself up. Most, if not all, small business owners have been conditioned to think that this is the proper way to market their business, since most advertising follows the same pathetic marketing formula, including the Fortune 500 types. As human beings, we're all after just one thing when we buy something the best deal, right? Unfortunately, when you use platitudes and jargon throughout your marketing, there's absolutely no way to tell who is actually offering the best deal. Everyone says they have the best prices, the highest quality and the best rates. So who do you believe? There's only one way to know, and that's to research every single business that offers what you want to buy. How many of us have the time or patience to do that? I know I don't. Typically when I go buy something, it's immediate impulse decision. If they're there, they answer the phone, 
actually follow up the little things that I take into account when hiring somebody. Typically the ones that get the deal. Most of the time you just got to show up. But some of us, or most of us, just automatically assume that everyone is pretty much the same and therefore we default into calling on the business that offers us the lowest price. And I do take that into consideration as well. But <clears throat> for those that don't have the lowest price, they just did a couple of those things actually following up and they probably get the business. When you can't communicate the true value your business offers, you're doomed to forever compete on price. And the conversion equation will change all of that for you forever. It's going to be the backbone of your strategic marketing plan. It's the foundation on which everything else we build for you is based. So let me give you a quick overview and then spend some time going through it with you in detail. The conversion equation has four main components. We must get your qualified prospect to pay attention to your lead generation marketing. Simple enough to say, but a lot more difficult to pull off in real life unless you understand what you're about to learn from here. The interrupt is done through your headline. If your marketing is in print or it is the first thing you say if your marketing is through radio or TV. The second component is engage. Once your prospect is interrupted, it's critical we give your reader the promise that information is forthcoming that will help the prospect make the best buying decision possible. In other words, it must help facilitate their decision to pick up the phone and pick you over everyone else. This is the job of the subheadline. The interrupt is the headline that highlights a specific problem that your prospects are looking for the solution to, and the engage is the subheadline that promises them what you offer is the solution to the problem mentioned in the headline. The third component we need to include is educate. Once we've interrupted and engaged the prospect, you have to give them information that allows them to logically understand how and why you solve the problem they're facing. This is accomplished by giving detailed, quantifiable, specific, and revealing information. This is typically done in the body copy of your ad. When we educate, we need to reveal to your prospects the most important and relevant information they need to know when making a good decision and that your business and yours alone provides it to them. The interrupt and engage hit the prospect's emotional hot buttons. Educate is the logic they need to justify picking up the phone and giving you a call or filling out your online form. The fourth and final component of our conversion equation is your offer. Now that we've interrupted your prospect based on the problems that they're having and that are most important to them and they're engaged by the promise of the solution and they've examined the educational material <clears throat> that makes your solution real and believable, the last step that is needed is to give them a low risk way to take the next step in your sales process. Do this by offering a free marketing tool such as a report, a brochure, a seminar, audio, video, or something that will continue to educate them your offer will allow your prospect to feel in control of their final decision to call and buy from you. So the conversion equation again is these simple four parts, interrupt, engage, educate, and offer. And together they equal market domination. Now here's the problem. Most marketing today only contains two of these components. They interrupt by throwing something at you that's either familiar like Tiger Woods or unusual like a monkey or talking pets. Sometimes they use both. As in the case of the E-Trade baby, once they grab your attention, they make you some type of offer such as call now or sign up or whatever. They've left out the engage and educate and marketing seldom succeeds when that happens. In fact, the only time this type of marketing does succeed is when you can afford to run the ad over and over nonstop for an extremely extended period of time. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Melts in your mouth, not in your hand. And things go better with Coke have literally been rammed down our throats by Fortune 500 types for years. And after hearing these slogans thousands of times, of course we're going to remember them, but how can a small business owner like you that doesn't have a billion dollar marketing budget successfully market your business? The answer is you can't unless you follow the entire conversion equation. And here is a simple example to prove this to you. We're going to look at a moving company case study. Okay. Now it's all been generatized, but this is the actual ad that a moving company placed in the yellow page 
years ago. Okay. If you don't know what Yellow Pages is, ask your grandparents. Okay. But most of us on here are familiar with the Yellow Pages and may still use it and advertise in it as long as the demographic and market is there. Years ago, there was a movie company that was on the verge of bankruptcy. They were paying three grand per month for a full page ad in their Yellow Pages directory. And they were averaging just 70 calls per month. And their conversion ratio was only 16%. So out of 70 calls a month, they were only getting 11 moving jobs. And if you do the math, no wonder they were starving. The reason their ad wasn't working was their failure to follow the conversion equation. In fact, the only conversion equation component they had in their ad was an offer that stated, call us. And then they listed the phone number. They had no interrupt at the top of their ad whatsoever, just the name of their business. And then they listed the generic and me too services that every one of their competitors also had in their ads. And then at the bottom of the ad was their phone number. Again, look at your own marketing that I asked you about earlier. Does your marketing format look exactly the same as this moving company? Did you place your name of the business at the top of your ad? Are you listing your products or services in the middle along with a layer of worthless and meaningless platitudes such as lowest prices, highest quality, and best rates? 99% of small businesses follow this exact format and they wonder why they aren't generating any quality leads. If you want your phone to start ringing, then you must follow our conversion equation of interrupt, engage, educate, and offer. This moving company followed the equation and redesigned this lead generation ad, and here is what happened. First, they identified the biggest problem their customers had when moving, and without hesitation, it was damage. 72% of all moves resulted in something being damaged. That's the area they needed to focus on then and create what we call a market dominating position around that hot button issue. But why is damage such an important issue since all moving companies listed in the yellow pages say they're fully insured? I didn't know this myself, but it turns out that all movers must be fully insured. But the general public has no idea what fully insured really means. So when you hear that someone say they're fully insured, don't you automatically assume that means that if they break your $5,000 TV, that they will reimburse you $5,000. I would certainly assume that, but you, you can't. It turns out that in the moving business, that isn't what fully insured means at all. Legally, a moving company can claim they fully insure their customers' belongings based on per pound of damage. The national average is 40 cents per pound. So in other words, if a mover destroys your $5,000, 100 pound TV, they're only legally obligated to pay you $40. Unfortunately, the poor unsuspecting customer doesn't find that out until after the damage has taken place and they receive their minuscule reimbursement. But for this specific moving company, this policy was never an issue because they didn't believe in the deceptive industry practice. They actually provide their customers with what is known as full replacement value insurance. If they break your $5,000 TV, you were reimbursed $5,000. No questions asked. But how could they afford this much more expensive insurance? Well, it was due to their extraordinary three-step packing process that only their company offered. And thanks to this process, their actual breakage and damage totals were below 3%. And what little damage did occur typically involved a broken dish or plate, relatively minor items that had little or no replacement cost, and certainly no sentimental value that would create an emotional situation with customers. Their unique packing process allowed them to carry a $5,000 insurance deductible, and their premiums for this superior insurance were actually lower than their competitors paid for their inferior and deceptive insurance. The three-step packing process, coupled with their superior full replacement value insurance coverage, became their market-dominating position. All that's left is to position that information in an ad and follow the conversion equation. Let's first create a headline for the top of the yellow page that interrupts. This must address the main hot button issue or problem that the prospects are looking to solve. In this case, it's damage. So the headline would look something like this. Last year, more than $4,000 of damage and negligent lawsuits were filed against moving companies by outraged homeowners. Do you think that headline would grab the attention of a prospective mover? You bet it would, but let's not stop there. Let's engage the prospect by promising them a solution to the problem we preferred in the headline. In this case, damage prevention. 
What do you think of this subheadline? Ask any mover these two questions to ensure you won't be victimized or ripped off by deceptive industry practices. Now, when a prospect reads this subheadline, do you think they will want to immediately find out what those two questions are? Of course they will. Now, let's educate them by providing them with two questions that the prospect can ask any mover they choose to contact. What about these two questions? Do you follow a minimum three-step packing process for every item you place in the truck? Do you carry full replacement value insurance? We already know their competitors' answers to both these questions is no, since the mover had already surveyed them. This ad educates prospects on the realities of what actually takes place in the moving industry and highlights this moving company's market-dominating position that makes them the obvious choice to do business with. Their offer was a free moving company comparison checklist that highlights the survey they did, showing the prospects they were the only moving company in town that offered all of these benefits. This will make them the no-brainer choice in the moving industry, and, res and the results they generated from this new yellow page ad sealed the deal. Instead of just averaging 70 calls per month, their new ad averaged 955 calls per month. Instead of a 16% conversion rate, their ad rate jumped 68%. Their new ad generated so many new clients asking for their services, they had to partner with four of their competitors to handle the increased volume. And those four competitors bought this company out nine months later for $2.3 million. All of this from simply changing the strategic message in their Yellow Page ad without spending an extra dime. This is why every small business owner needs to seek out professional help. But finding professional help is often frustrating at times, a crapshoot at best. That's why I wanted to teach you the conversion equation of interrupt, engage, educate, and offer. The moving company trained their prospect on the relevant and important issues they needed to know when moving. So those prospects knew what they had to ask for when they sought out the services of a mover. Now you know the conversion equation and you can use it when you're seeking out the professional help you need for your own business. A true marketing professional will know this equation, and if they don't, run away as fast as you can. And by the way, did you notice that the information I just discussed also covered mistakes two and three? Earlier, I said the second biggest mistake small business owners make <clears throat> involves the fact that they don't know the fundamentals required to successfully market their business and attract as many new clients as their business can handle. Well. You do know the fundamentals and you can use them to outmarket, outsell, and dominate the local competition. First, you create a market dominating position for your business and then insert that position into your marketing by following the conversion equation. And the third biggest mistake business owners make focus on the fact that they have no idea how to generate immediate cash flow. When you follow the conversion equation in every form of marketing, from your business cards to your website, the financial results are instantaneous and immediate. So let's take a look at another example here. It's from a child psychologist case study, Dr. John Smith. So John Smith is a child psychologist who specialized in helping parents with out of control kids. You know the kids I'm talking about, the ones that at the store yelling and screaming, throwing tantrums and are just completely out of control. Luckily, my boys are angels. <laughs> These kids range from six years through teenagers and Dr. Smith's original website had all the classic mistakes that are typical in a small business today. He had a name of his business at the top of the site. The only thing even resembling what you might call a headline said parenting advice and resources from Dr. John Smith. I mean, does that really move the needle for you or to any parent who's dealing with a screaming kid that's out of control? Would that headline hit their immediate emotional hot button? Do they really care at all right now about advice and resources or are his prospects looking for a solution to the problem? Remember, you must always start your marketing with an interrupting headline that is focused on the problem your prospects are experiencing. Then you must have a subheadline that engages the prospect by promising them that there's a solution to that problem. Remember our first two conversion equation components, interrupt and engage. That's the job of the headline and subheadline, and this applies to every form of marketing, including websites. Dr. Smith's website headline, Parenting Advice and Resources from Dr. John Smith, does not address the problem 
as frustrated parents are experiencing with their child. And to make matters worse, his website has no subheadline whatsoever, so there's no way for him to engage his prospect to keep them interested. In fact, it's doubtful that any prospect visiting the site will stay here more than a few seconds. The latest research shows that the typical prospect visiting a website remains on the site for just three to five seconds. If during that period of time, they don't find something that looks like it will provide them with a solution to the problem, they are gone for good. The third component of the conversion equation says to educate this prospect. This simply means that you must educate them with what makes your product or service so much better than your competition. On a website, this is done with either a website copy or in Dr. Smith's case, by video. Just make it short and sweet when it comes to the the point of first contact. You can offer them much more information once you have them compelled to want to know more about what you do. And the final component of the conversion equation is your offer. A low risk or better yet, no risk offer that gets them to take specific actions such as request more information, take a test drive, register for a free trial or an educational presentation. The key here is to make the offer so compelling that it's literally irresistible to the prospect. In fact, you want them to be thinking to themselves that they wouldn't have to be an absolute fool not to take your offer. Dr. Smith's offer was a white paper titled The Secret for Parents, a special report on how you can learn the secrets of nurturing well-behaved children. Here's the problem. His prospects don't have well-behaved children. They have one that's screaming, yelling, cursing, belligerent, back-talking, completely out of control. Nurturing a well-behaved child is not the solution they're looking for. Getting the kid under control right now is what they're looking for. Can you see why Dr. Smith's original website failed him in every area? The site wasn't building his business. It wasn't helping him generate leads, attract new clients, or generate additional revenue for his practice. It simply didn't follow the conversion equation. So Dr. Smith changed his website So it did follow the proven step-by-step roadmap. He placed the headline at the top of his site that said, are you sick and tired of the yelling, screaming, and belligerent attitude of your child? Would you say this headline hits the major hot buttons for virtually every prospect that comes to the site? Do you think these prospects, the moment they read that headline, will immediately think to themselves they have just come to the right place where they can find the solution to the problem? In other words, did this headline just interrupt Dr. Smith's prospects? Of course it did. Now, let's get those prospects engaged by promising them a solution in the subheadline. It says, now you can discover the secrets to controlling your child and instantly restore peace and quiet in your home. Oh, I can, I love peace and quiet. Oh, love it. The kids are quiet. They're playing the games, doing their deal. I can concentrate on my things. That is so nice. That is what his prospect wanted. And we'll do Almost anything to get, right? Absolutely. See how the headline and the subheadline work closely together to interrupt and engage every single prospect when it comes to his site. And now that they're engaged, the video can spend one to three minutes educating the prospect about the fact that our good doctor has a solution they need and so desperately seek. And this offer has been changed so that it's not only more relevant to the prospect situation, but it's compelling and virtually irresistible. The offer says, learn the secrets to gaining and maintaining complete control of your child in less than 60 seconds. Show me one prospect visiting the site that won't download that report. They all will. And when they do, Dr. Smith captures their contact information so he can continue to keep his prospects informed until they're ready to use his services. This revised site exploded Dr. Smith's business to unprecedented levels. And best of all, The conversion equation can work for your business as well, producing immediate results. Again, let's quickly recap. Mistake number one, fail to get professional help. Mistake number two, don't know the fundamentals required to successfully market your business and attract as many new clients as you can handle. And mistake number three, you have no idea how to use their marketing to generate immediate cash flow. The conversion equation contains the fundamental components you need to ensure your business is successful from this point forward. The conversion equation will make your phone ring and position your business as the dominated force in your market. It provides the marketing foundation that will enable you to generate immediate cash flow. And you can use this information as a minimum standard when seeking out professional help for your business. 
When you can overcome these three biggest lead generation mistakes, you will generate all the leads your business can handle and turn your dreams of owning your business into reality. You want proof? Answer this one question. If I could provide your business with a lead generation system that would create such an outrageous lopsided advantage in your favor that your most affluent customers would be to pass to your door to buy what you sell without even asking how much it would cost, would you be interested in a five minute phone call with me? If you said yes, here's what we're prepared to do for you provide you with professional help backed up by a proven track record. We'll teach you the basic fundamentals that will allow you to market your business successfully, help you attract as many clients to your business as you want, help you develop compelling marketing that will generate immediate cash flow for your business. And we'll do all this for you for free. If you simply give me five minutes I'll show you how to outthink, outmarket, and outsell your competition. I know this offer sounds way too good to be true. What's the catch? Why are you going to do all this for free? And is it really going to take only five minutes? Yes, it's only going to take five minutes of your time to sit down and let me take a quick peek at the current marketing situation and just point you in the right direction. If the information I give you is valuable, then we can talk about furthering our relationship together. So if this is something that you're interested in doing, I need you to go to the following site because I promised you at the beginning of this that you didn't have to take any notes and that you're going to get this entire presentation with all of my notes. So to do that, one, you need to go to this following website, bkxxenterprises.agency forward slash more leads. There, simple opt-in, immediately get these notes and presentation. On the second page, you have the opportunity to schedule a one-on-one five-minute call with me to discuss your current situation. If that is something that is of interest to you, if you want to get more leads, then I encourage you to go to this site right now, bkxxenterprises.agency forward slash more leads, get the presentation, and then schedule your no obligation five minute consultation with me to point you on the path of dominating your local market. And I appreciate you watching this seminar. I know it's a bit rough. It's my very first one, guys. I've been doing this for years, been in sales marketing for years. However, this has been my first ever live presentation or recorded presentation. If you're watching this on the record, I know I've needed to be doing this for a while, but what do you think? Tell me how bad it was. Please just give me the feedback so I know what to improve on. It would be so much appreciated. Again, thank you for your time. I'm here to help you. And here's to your success.